It has emerged that universities are facing challenges in resource management, with Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoa calling on the universities to specialize even as they seek funding. What has happened in this country and what everybody is afraid to say, I as Professor Magoa, son of Magoa, I will tell you, we had very fine universities, about 10 of them, and then there was an uncontrolled proliferation, which is still going on, which has produced some new fine universities, but some that should not even exist there. And then the government policy has been to pull down the ones that were already at an international level and bring them to the same level with all the others. And then we are saying, oh, there's a funding problem. Of course there will be a funding problem. And it will persist. Professor Magoa has urged councils to offer appropriate advice and guidance to the vice chancellors for proper running of the institutions of higher learning. The cabinet secretary noted that duplication of university program was undermining and diluting higher education. In order for the university system to be sustainable in this country, the solution must start with the managers. A university is not an employment agency in your local area for employing your tribesmen. It is not a political tool for politicians to endear themselves to the local people. Principal Secretary in charge of higher education, Professor Coletta Suda, condemned the latest spate of crimes of passion targeting college students and called on the government to enhance security in the universities. Security is very critical because some of these events, some of these incidences, some of these things that we read in the papers are disheartening to say the least. How somebody can easily drive into our institutions and carry out one of the most heinous acts. Meanwhile, a total of 89,486 government-sponsored students will pursue degree programs in public and private universities out of a total of 90,755 who scored a mean of C plus and above. The remaining 1,269 students applied for diploma courses and were placed based on their choices. Professor Magoa said a total of 98,303 applicants were placed to technical vocational education training programs to study for diploma craft and artisan certificates. In the 2019 to 2020 placement, Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology received the highest number of applicants at 5,901 followed by the University of Nairobi staking at 5,432, Kenyatta University 5,289, while Maseno University received 2,644. The most competitive courses were Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, as well as Bachelor of Architectural Studies, Bachelor of Architecture offered at the University of Nairobi. For Channel 1 News, I'm Timothy Kipnoso.